We have with us His Excellency uh, C.B. George, the Ambassador of India to Kuwait, to talk to us about what took place at the Constitutional Day of India, celebration of the Embassy of India. Well, now we're going to get to this short report, and it's dealing with the Constitution Day of India. Stay tuned. Today is the Constitution Day of India. In 1949, on November 26, the Constitution of India was adopted by a Constituent Assembly, which decided to establish a Constitution which guarantees a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic India. And that India is what you see today, which governs the 1.3 billion people of India. The Constitution guarantees justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity and the dignity of the individual. It guarantees the unity and integrity of the nation. So it's a wonderful document which we all respect and we follow. Every day an election takes place in India, it is the Constitution of India which gets celebrated. I'm so proud that the Indian community in Kuwait came together to celebrate this day, the Constitution Day in India. It's a very important day when we respect our Constitution and thank our Constitution framers, the founders of our country, who gave us this Constitution. Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and I hope everyone out there is having a nice evening. We have with us right now uh, His Excellency, Mr. C.B. George, the Ambassador of India to the State of Kuwait. Uh, Your Excellency, welcome to our program. Namaste. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Tariq. Thank you for Thank coming. You. I know you have a, a very busy schedule. We appreciate your time with Thank us. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, recently the Embassy of India in Kuwait celebrated uh, Constitution Day. Can you tell our audience about the importance and significance of this day? Thank you. That was on November 26th. November 26th, India celebrates as its Constitution Day. It was in 1949, on November 26th, that the Constituent Assembly of India adopted its Constitution. It was a unique Constitution which established a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. And we are celebrating it every year in India and also all the embassies all across the world. And we have celebrated in Kuwait with a very important function. Well, that brings me to my next question. There was a, a big function, an event held at the embassy to mark this day. Could you elaborate and tell us a little bit about what took place, please? In New Delhi, at the central hall of our parliament, the President of India, the Vice President of India, the Prime Minister of India and the members of the parliament came together and celebrated the Constitution Day. Okay. The President of India read out the preamble of the Constitution. That again, in all the embassies we did it. In Kuwait, I read out the preamble of the Constitution to the members of the community and also the some of the school children and the members of our embassy. So it was a very solemn occasion when we celebrated our constitution, which is a very, very important document. One sixth of the total population of the world is governed by that constitution. And it is a it establishes a very peaceful, uh, forward looking country with that constitution. So it is something there is something to celebrate. Each each election which happens in India, we are celebrating the constitution each time there is a peaceful transformation transfer of power we are celebrating the constitution it is working very well very well said mr ambassador and i know there was also an exhibition 
uh, marking the Constitution of India. Tell us a little bit about that exhibition. Yes, yeah, it was an exhibition. More. Yeah, thank you. It was an exhibition on the making of the Constitution. Okay. A lot of efforts have gone into making this Constitution uh, by the framers of the Constitution. Several sessions were held, meetings more than almost three years of uh, you know, deliberations happened sure. in the Constituent Assembly making this Constitution. So we were honoring and paying homage to that founders of the Constitution like uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. He was the chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution. Similarly, President uh, uh, Rajendra Prasad, he was the chairman of the constituent assembly. So we were celebrating their life, their uh, contributions to India as well. In fact, this constitution guarantees justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity, dignity of the individual to every Indians. So it is something to celebrate and that is exactly what we were doing in on November 26th in Kuwait and all across the globe. Well, Mr. Ambassador, it was a very beautiful event as we saw in that report earlier and some of the photos that we've been showing to our audience as you've been speaking. Uh, but maybe now you could tell us a little bit about the strong bilateral relationship between the state of Kuwait and India, please, sir. See, we have a very traditional well-established relationship. I always call it a long-standing dynamic partnership. It has worked throughout the history of our two countries very well. And this year we are celebrating the 60th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations. You have seen that several high-level visits were yes. taking place. The foreign minister of Kuwait visited India. The foreign minister of India visited Kuwait. A lot of official level talks have taken place. We have several joint working group meetings have taken place. And of course, very important we can see the cultural exchanges between the two countries the people to people connect is happening and it is contributing in further developing our relationship good to hear that mr. ambassador and a bit later on we'll talk about some of the upcoming events and activities of the cultural season but I know also uh, India is offering support for Africa to fight the new Omicron uh, variant. Uh, tell us about that support please see, India has always in the forefront of the fight against COVID-19 pandemic right from the very beginning. In fact, India has offered support to so many countries. You have seen it. 150 countries yes. were given medicines by India. India had sent its emergency medical uh, forces to many countries. And to 93 countries, we have sent co uh, COVID vaccines. You know, um, the uh, made in India vaccines were sent. Yes. So it was an ongoing process. Of course, we had difficulties that time. Kuwait has contributed by sending oxygen to India. So it is India is cooperating and connecting with the rest of the world in supporting them. Now we have noticed that there is an issue in uh, Africa. Africa yes. India has actually supplied vaccines to 41 Africa countries in the past. And we are now supporting, we are ready to support Africa in this fight against uh, COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, 25 million doses of COVID vaccines have already been supplied to Africa in the past by India. Because as you know, India is called the pharmacy of the world. Yes. We have one of the largest producers of uh, vaccines all over the world. So we will well continue renowned to... well for a strong medical system. That is right. That is right. So we will continue that support as part of the COVAX program of the United Nations, WHO, and also bilaterally we will continue our support to the African countries and also to our friends and others. Great to hear that, Mr. Ambassador. And uh, maybe now you could touch on a little bit about any uh, cultural events planned for the upcoming New Year that you would like to shed some light on for the audience watching Hella Kuwait tonight. Thank you. In fact, we have a series of events planned. As you know, my target was to have 600 events to celebrate the yeah. 60th anniversary yeah. and 750 events to celebrate the seven, 75th anniversary of India's independence. Yes, we right. are in the right track. We have organized several events and several more are being organized now. In fact, on the, uh, I believe on the 7th and 8th, that is on Monday and uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. I think six and seventh. Yeah, no? we six are and seventh is Monday and Tuesday. Yes, we are. Uh, uh, we are organizing a, a you know cultural program on that day. So Great. We are doing it uh, here, uh, and also we will have more programs coming up in uh, in coming weeks. In fact, on twentieth uh, um, December, we are planning a, a carol evening. Okay. Uh, to celebrate, you know, India has, uh, in, see, India is a diverse country. Sure. We have every religion, and every culture. There, yeah. Of course, we will celebrate everything. That's every great. festival we celebrate That's in really India. Nice. So I have a series of events planned, and I invite my Kuwaiti friends to come and join us and join the celebrations. Well, Mr. Ambassador, you're a very active ambassador, 
doing a lot of great events for the Indian community as well as the people in general in the state of Kuwait. Uh, as we're coming towards the end of our interview this evening, uh, do you have any last words or comments for the audience watching our program this evening, sir? Thank you, Tariq. Thank you again for inviting My me pleasure. to this uh, event. You know, I really enjoy uh, spending time with you, talking to our, uh, our uh, uh, people. In fact, uh, as you said, we have a very vibrant, active Indian community, yes. which is working very closely with the embassy in engaging our, in promoting our relationship with the Kuwait. My uh, invitation to our Kuwaiti friends is to visit India. We have a lot to see there. Let us continue our engagement, which our forefathers card had and it is time for us to further strengthen that relationship particularly during the 60th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations. Thank, thank you, you so much Mr. Ambassador for coming and we appreciate your time with us tonight. Thank you. Thank, thank you very thank much you. sir. We'd like to thank His Excellency uh, Mr. C.B. George Ambassador of India to the State of Kuwait for his uh, time and insight with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Right now we're going to move on to another one of our reports and our weekly segment coming to us from the Ministry of Interior. Stay tuned. <laughs>